There's plastic waste in every ocean around the world, and this is the first attempt to clean it up. It'll take place in the eastern Pacific in a rotating current that traps plastic, what's called the Great Garbage Patch. It's bigger than Britain and France combined. So how is the project meant to work? Well, a giant tube 600 metres long will float on the surface and bend into a shape like a horseshoe, drifting naturally with the currents and the winds. Now, because it'll move faster than all the bits of plastic in the water, it should slowly gather them together into a small area. Underwater, a kind of barrier will hang three metres down and trap plastic below the surface. And the design should mean that any fish will pass under it. And once the plastic has been drawn into a dense mass, it'll then be collected by ship and taken away to be recycled. Uh, so that's how it works, but not everyone is in favour of this plan. With us is Will McCallum. He's from Greenpeace. Um, Will, you sort of suggest that this is a bit of a blunt instrument, don't you, just to sweep all this stuff out because other things could get caught in it, is that right? Completely. Plastic or anything when it's floating in the ocean can attract the curiosity of small fish, which attract bigger fish and sharks. So you might find whole sort of ecosystems living underneath this. And obviously when fish are near plastic, there's a risk of them eating it or getting tangled up in it. But we saw in that graphic there from our science editor that they might be able to get underneath it. Is that not the case? Completely. And we'll wait and see how it goes uh, over the next few months. And I hope that the team are monitoring to see what gets tangled up in it. I think more of our criticism around it is that um, you know when you when you've got an overflowing bathtub you don't rush for a mop to, to mop up the floor you you turn the tap off first and this is really a case of, of mopping up the floor it's not dealing with the problem at source. But is it better than doing nothing? Absolutely and I don't think you can criticize efforts to clean up we have to we have to be cleaning up every bit of plastic you take off the beach when you go down there is going to be helping with the problem but it's not the the end solution it's not the the big thing that everybody's making it out to be. Um, what so um, I suppose you know, the need is to do this now because the longer the plastic stays in the ocean, the smaller it breaks up into particles and we know about microplastics causing a huge problem. I suppose while it's still large enough to be scooped up, that would be a good way of doing it, would it not? Absolutely, although unfortunately so much of the plastic sinks quite quickly and plastic is found at all points in the water column, right, right from the very deepest trench they found an intact plastic bag 11 <laughs> kilometres beneath the surface of wow. the water and then right up to the surface. So this is a great idea for skimming some of that stuff off the surface, but that really is all it is doing, it's right. skimming the surface of the problem. Putting those practical concerns to one side though, are you at least a little bit inspired by the story behind this? Behind, because it, I believe it's a teenager Completely. who thought of this and it's been crowdfunded, so it's obviously caught the imagination of people who want to do something that's practical. Completely, and, and that's the most inspiring thing. It's drawing attention to this problem and it's forcing people to ask the question, what can I do to help? And there really is so much that people can do. They can do a two-minute beach clean on their local beach or they can also, when they see over-packaging a shop, take a picture of it and, and go to the manager and ask them to stop packaging it. Um, I mean, when we look at quite how much work needs to be done, there's a way of you know picking off the beaches by hand. That's time consuming. It's very mm -hmm. expensive. Um, there's this proposal. I mean, all of these efforts together have got to make a difference. And I, and I appreciate your idea of we need to stop this at source. But that in itself is a huge challenge. If you just look around at how much plastic we're consuming. Comple it's a huge challenge. And Theresa May, we heard, has announced an environment bill that will be coming through next year. And we're really hoping that in that bill, the government is going to introduce reduction targets. Targets. Plastic is set to double in production over the next 10 years and that absolutely cannot happen if we have any hope of cleaning up and, and stopping it from getting into the ocean. So are in that environment bill we have to see reduction. Sorry to interrupt yeah. you there but are there any official reduction targets in place now? Absolutely none. There's some bans and we're seeing you know the government banned microbees which was a wonderful step forward. They're thinking of introducing a deposit return scheme so you know you pay a bit extra on your bottle and you get it back when you take it back to the shop. But we really need to see a much, much stronger commitment to reduction. I mean, fundamentally, the problem is that plastic is cheap, mm -hmm. isn't it? Um, and for manufacturers, it protects the items they want to put in those things. And uh, there's no incentive to cut it yet. And, and, and I think you know, with a business head on here, you know, it's about making businesses pay for it because they're not paying for the cost of the plastic in our ocean. They haven't, and they haven't been made to. Businesses have been producing plastic packaging with no thought to the end of its life. And that's, that needs to change. Any product that a business is producing, they need to be taking responsibility for, for, the, lifetime for, the, life that plastic, for yeah. the lifetime of it so that it doesn't end up out there on the ocean need to be cleaned up in this way.
Well, fascinating to talk to you this morning. Thank you very Thank much you very indeed. Much. That's Will McCollum. Thank yeah, you. we'll keep an eye on how that goes. As we said, being launched off the coast of California this weekend, but of course, big question about how effective it will be, as you heard there from Will. So uh, we'll keep an eye on that for you. You watch.